Hey gang, Amersfil here. So, recently started working my way up the Russian battleship line. You know, they introduced them, they had that event, I picked up the tier 4 and 5 and, yeah, they were alright. Didn't really see what all the hubbub was about. Then I got to Ismail at tier 6, and I thought, well, it's got the same configure as the, uh, configuration as the October Revolution. Uh, so I'll just pull the captain out of that, put him in there. And had what, for me, as a DD main, was an unexpected level, un unexpected level of success in the ship. Then went from Ismail to Sinop, and had a similar feeling. Um, things that I tried to pull off with other battleships that didn't often work out seemed to work out more often, let's just say that, in Sinop. Okay, fast forward a little bit, a week or two, I get enough experience to unlock and purchase Vladivostok. Now, <laughs> You know, I've been hearing and reading uh, these higher tier Russian battleships in particular are overpowered, too tough, trolley armor, guns too accurate, etc. And, you know, there have been a lot of sky is falling moments in this game. Uh, I like to think the only one that I fell into. And it really wasn't as the sky is falling as much as I don't think this is good for the meta of the game. It was when Asashio came out, and I still don't think it was really good for the game. But uh, so few people know how to play Asashio, in my opinion. It really didn't have the impact that it could have. So anyway, um, I guess what I'm saying is I have fallen prey to the sky is falling as well. But I really wasn't feeling that way about the Russian battleships. And then I unlocked the Vladivostok. Now, this entire game, I think, is played with stock everything. I don't, I mean, I, I put modules on it. And I've got a captain in it with some skill points. He's not a 19 point captain. But the ship itself, uh, I don't have the upgraded hull, I don't have the upgraded. Um, I don't even remember now if it has upgraded uh, engines, but I don't have the upgraded guns for certain. So this was, you know, maybe my second game, I think, in this ship. First game was, uh, first game was on one of those teams where it wouldn't have mattered what ship I was playing or how well I played it. There was no way I was going to win. <laughs> but, um, I played this game and I thought, well, you know, maybe, maybe I can see a little bit more why people are concerned about the new, the new Russian battleships. Again, keep in mind, I mean, I've had good games in battleships, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, but uh, this is a ship I haven't really played that hasn't been upgraded. Well, tell you what, you just watch the battle unfold and, and judge for yourself, knowing that I'm not a battleship player, whether this ship may be tactical way to say it, but I can't, so overpowered. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, it's it's very fun to play. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a gas to play. I, I can see why people enjoy playing them. But, you know, it's, it, to me at least, kind of the same as the Smolensk. Um, 
that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Um, you know, the Smolensk is, is incredibly fun to play. I mean, because it, it does everything, right? I mean, it has, you can set it up to have decent range. It has incredible dispersion, uh, super fast reload, uh, fairly long range torpedoes, um, accurate, terrific dispersion, smoke, hydro. I mean, that ship has everything going for it. And to me, kind of falls in the same category as uh, Asashio. If we get a, a, enough players who figure out how to play that ship, there's really no good counter for it. You know, the armor is set up so that it's almost impossible for a battleship to citadel. It can happen, it just isn't going to very often. Um, so it makes the ship very, very unfun to play against because it's very, very tough to counter. I won't say impossible, but really tough. And I kind of feel a little bit that way about Vladivostok, Sinop, Ismail, and presumably the Tier 9 and the, the Kremlin and Tier 10, which I understand now they are talking about uh, nerfing. We'll see. Is balance, comrade. Right? <laughs> Anyhow, um, this was a fun game to play. I mean, you can see we're down a ship and um, we're down on points. Uh, it, it it was very fun. I mean, it's the kind of game, at least for me, that it's why I keep coming back. It's why I like this game because uh, it was a struggle all the way through. It could go either way. I won't say anything else. I'll just let you watch the rest of the game. I'd love to hear any feedback you have about Smolensk, about the Russian battleship line, and about even just the state of the game as it stands today. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. One other thing, um, right now the enemy team only has the Gallant and the Asashio. The fact that those torpedoes stop short tells me we've got the Gallant on this side. I know where Asashio's at, I can see it on the minimap. A little bit later in the game, knowing what the range is on the Gallant's torpedoes uh, allowed me to stay just close enough to... Uh, accurately land some shots. Oh, man, my heart just <laughs> skipped a beat when we lost our Ranger here. You can see all the Asashio torpedoes there on the right side of the screen. But knowing what the range was on the uh, Gallant torpedoes, having played the ship, and, and I really like that ship, actually. I know it gets panned, but I, I like the ship. Um, allowed me to stay close enough to, to make a shot that, while it didn't side things uh, I felt really good about later in the game. Somebody thought I got lucky, but um, I spotted Gallant just for a few seconds, and when you do, 
look at the range and uh, then it'll make more sense the line that I continued to take. Anyhow, I <laughs> just wanted to toss that in there as I sat here watching this replay. And trolly? <laughs> yeah, maybe a little trolly on the accuracy. Anyhow, I'll let you get back to it. And here, I could see where Gallant was. I knew that he wasn't going to, well, presumed he wasn't going to torp with his own Bismarck right there. So I just tried to use Bismarck as a, 
kind of as a shield to keep Gallant from throwing corpses away. But I knew as soon as I cleared the other side of the Bismarck that torps uh, were likely to be on the way. And that's why I turned in, and um, my hunch was correct. I was able to avoid the torps. And now, um, it's just that Gallant and their CV. We managed to pull this thing back from what seemed a likely loss, and are now in a position, potentially, to be able to win. Our Nagato, um, he had a great game. A couple of couple of, uh, well, you know, I guess the, the term would be kill steals. I mean, I'm always glad that any teammate puts any enemy ship under the waves. I don't believe there is such a thing as kill steal. It's just, uh, he, he might have saved me from getting broadside. Citadel, you just never know, but he, uh, well... He didn't have enough HP to withstand another attack, as you saw there. So, uh, we have a three-point lead right now. And now it's just a matter of can we hold it against a marauding gallant. And a Ryujo captain who seems to have some idea of what he's doing. Alright, so yeah, I'm angling away from the likely approach of torpedoes, just slightly. And I'm keeping an eye out for Gallant, and I know that I'm being seen by Gallant, because I'm not air spotted. Okay, so there he is, look at the range, 8.7 kilometers. That means I've got not a whole lot of room to work with, but some. How about that? <laughs> I was pretty proud of that. Somebody commented here, uh, it'll happen. There it is. Played a few games, well, more than a few in the Galan. Super fun. You see, I switched to AG. Almost got him. Well, I know I said I was going to shut up and let you watch the game, but there were a couple things I had to add there. Anyhow, at this point, uh, we have. Uh, still three-point lead, not much time left, but still could go either way, under constant air attack, I will, uh, I really will now shut up and just finish watching the game, and again, really appreciate any feedback you have, thanks a lot for watching, see you next time.